Learning more tonight about the Napa School District's plan to dig itself out of debt. We already know that the district wants taxpayers to pass a $4.3 million supplemental levy. And the district says the one-year levy will be countered by a big cut in bond payments, so the public won't end up paying a penny more than usual. We're on your side tonight to ask an investment advisor if that plan could work. Chairman Keto, trustees of the board. The Napa School Board sees the supplemental levy as a key component to its recovery. We began the year with a deficit, and then we were looking at, without any changes, ending the year with a larger deficit. So having additional revenue would be useful in addressing our financial crisis. And board members say the debt restructuring would make it a wash for taxpayers, at least in 2014. Yeah, they would refinance some of the bonds, and that would change how they're paid back over time. So in this restructuring plan, that first First year it would be less, other payments would be higher. After 2014, the district's bond payments would increase slightly for seven years. Larger increases would kick in for the final four years. Uh, it's creative. We asked Nampa-based investment advisor Bob Coleman to evaluate the plan. All they're doing is just not paying off existing debt. But giving themselves more time. Yes, buying more time. And that, and that may be a key to this whole thing. Right yeah, now. and it, it, that's a, it is a solution to an issue if they've corrected everything. Coleman says lots of troubled companies have successfully delayed debt to help turn things around. But he says they all had good business practices. And the bookkeeping at the school district has been suspect. The issue, though, is you've got to have some type of audit or independent analysis to make sure that the problems have been corrected, uh, whatever they were. To me, that would be critical. Uh, otherwise, you're just throwing good money after bad. The district says the levy needs to be approved before they seek a restructuring.